Last night I was looking after my two-year-old granddaughter and for the first time ever, I had to put her to bed by myself. Now, I've been around when she's been put to bed. I've seen her mom put her to bed lots of times, her dad. When Sarah and I looked after her a few weeks ago, Sarah put her to bed, but this time it was on me. This time it was my job to put her to bed. And and I was a little bit nervous about it. I, I wanted to make sure I did everything right, you know. She's got a little routine where she brushes her teeth and drinks milk and has a story and you have to have this bear and go here at this time. And I just wanted to make sure I did everything right because she's special to me. I wanted to make sure she was okay. I wanted to make sure she was comfortable. And uh, it just made me a little bit nervous. Now, being a great kid, she just went to bed. I went through the steps that I was told to do and she just laid down and went to sleep and everything was fine. But just the thought of not exactly knowing what you're doing sort of made me feel a little uneasy about going ahead and doing something. Do you know that feeling? You know what you should do and you want to do it. You're just uneasy because you're just a little lost. You're not quite sure. I sometimes think Christians feel that way a great deal, actually. Um, I've had lots of conversations with people who really want to do something good, but they're just not sure where to start or or what to do or that they can do anything. And I think a lot of people see their faith as a progression up till when they are baptized and saved, and then I guess we just wait for Jesus to return. But that's not what the Bible teaches. That's that's not healthy. That's not what we're here for. We're not just to sit here and wait. There are actually some things we should be doing in this meantime between our salvation and the return of Christ. There are things that we are responsible for and things we get to participate in. And so that's what we're going to talk about this Sunday. The sermon is called, What Am I Supposed to Do Now? Filling the gap between our baptism and our new home. If you've ever wondered, well, now what? What what can I do? Peter has some really practical answers for you. Uh, Peter has some encouragement for you. And this sermon will give you some direction. I think it's going to be really good. What am I supposed to do now? Filling the gap between our baptism and our new home. In our Bible study, we are going to hit fast forward this week. I told you a few weeks ago that we're going to stop going verse by verse as we have been doing, and we're going to start skipping along a little bit. And so this week, uh, that begins. We are going to cover selected passages from 2 Samuel chapters 16 through 21. The reason we're jumping ahead here a little bit is because some of it's repetitive, uh, some of it's just, uh, you know, this person fought that person and David went over here and then over there. And some of it is just worthy to be read, but we've kind of made those points already several times. So we're going to skip over that. We're just going to hit the high points. We're going to find some things in those five chapters that are uh, important to us still and that we can learn from. So I wish I could give you better... Um, instructions in that or or a better outline than that but you're just gonna have to come on Sunday and see what we have but if you like to read ahead 2 Samuel 6 chapters 16 through 21 is sort of the area that we will be in uh, again noon lunches continue till the end of April uh, at the end of April on the uh, 30th we will have a hot pot luck but until then we'll continue to do soup and sandwiches and visit with each other that is still really enjoyable, and lots of people are hanging around. Please make plans to stay if you can. Uh, it was beautiful to see visitors, new people with us again last week, and, and that was great. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed visiting with them, and, and it, was, it was wonderful. So, um, again, this is a good time to bring new people. New people are around. This is, this is a good time for people to become introduced to things and, and be part of things when others are becoming part of things. That's, that's really beautiful and really good. Lots of things going on this weekend, and so um, I hope you have a restful weekend in amongst all the things that are happening. Uh, I also hope that part of your weekend includes uh, being here on Sunday morning. I'm looking forward to seeing you then.